Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering a question from a M1, Mechanics M1 paper from the International A-Level at Excel, uh, January 2015 exam. This question here is about vectors. It says, in this question, I and J are unit vectors directed due east and due north respectively. It says, a particle P is moving with a constant velocity given by minus 6I plus 2J meters per second. At time t equals 0, p passes through the point with position vector 21i plus 5j meters relative to a fixed origin O. Find the direction of motion of p, giving your answer as a bearing to the nearest degree. Okay, now in this type of question, a lot of people, they get confused as to which vector to use in order to give the uh, direction that the object is moving in. And that is because sometimes they don't understand, um, you know, what this topic is all about. And they have a bit of inny, meeny, miny, mo, deciding which one of these vectors to find its direction. Now, what we have to do is try to understand um, the concepts and not just memorize, you know, kind of like how to deal with things. You should try to understand. So when it says it's moving with this velocity, okay, this is describing the motion of the particle. Minus 6i plus 2j, telling you in which direction it's moving and also the magnitude of its you know speed this tells you both of those things in one in a vector that's what a vector quantity is it has a magnitude and direction it says that time t equals zero p passes through the point with position vector 21 i plus 5 j so this describes the position of this particle at time equals zero okay so what i'm going to do is just draw a little diagram just to illustrate what's happening here so let's say this is the point o the origin these things are measured always from the origin okay so this is the point o now at time equals zero this particle is at a position which is 21i plus 5j meters from the origin so that means 21 in the horizontal direction and 5 in the vertical direction just say it's over here somewhere just say it's over here it's not of course scale this is where it is at time equals zero this is the point where it is so we can just just to illustrate it, just I'll draw some like small dotted line. So this is like 21 horizontal. This is to the to the east, and that's to the north. Okay, because we're talking about vectors i and j, north and east. So we can say that this is um, 21 i uh, plus 5 j. Okay, so the vector, the actual line itself, will be like this. This is the vector. This is the, this describes the position of the particle P, which is 21, 5. I like to use column vectors, 21i plus 5j. So that doesn't tell us how it's moving. It's just telling us where it is. It's telling us where it is when time equals zero. That's its position when time equals zero. Then it says it's moving with a constant velocity minus 6i plus 2j. So from this point where it goes through, for sure, at a certain time when time equals zero, it's going to move 6 to the left and 2 up. Let's say over there. Okay, 6 to the left and 2 up. It's not to scale, of course. It's just a little uh, sketch here. So again, I'll just try and make this thin. So 6 to the left, minus 6i, plus 2j. Okay, so let's say that means after 1 second, it's going to be over here. And t equals 1, it's going to be over here. That's the direction it's moving in. Okay, so after one second, this particle is going to move over here. So this, this here is describing how it's moving. This part here describes its movement. This is the velocity vector, okay, which is 6i minus 6i, sorry, plus 2j. So minus 6, negative 6, 2. That's describing how it's moving. Okay, so that's the thing that we have to realize here. So here we're going to have... Let me try and get this. Okay. I'm going to copy, paste, and group this together. Okay. So now, put that back here. So this basically describes how it's moving. So after one second, it's going to be at this point here. After two seconds, it's going to be at this point. Because it's going with this constant velocity. After three seconds after four seconds so it's going to be moving along this line that's what how much it moves after every second this this describes this vector describes how much it moves the direction and 
the, 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 the distance it moves every second. Okay, so this describes its motion. The, if we want to find, if we're talking about the direction of motion of P, we're not concerned about 21.5, that's just telling us where it is at a certain time, in the beginning of its motion. But this tells us how it's moving. This is the vector that we need to use in order to find the direction of motion of P. So we concentrate on that part of it. So this, this uh, has, um, I'll just use this, this is minus 6 and 2 as we know. So we know that this, this distance here is negative 6. And this distance here is 2. That's horizontal, that's vertical, that's north, that's, that's east. So this is 6 units this way and 2 units that way. So we need the bearing. Now the bearing, we want to find the direction as the bearing. The bearing is always measured from the north line. Always measured from the north line. So we're going to draw north here. North is you know, going vertically up here, right? That's in the direction of uh, J, all right, due north. Okay, so we want the bearing. The bearing is always measured from the north line, always measured clockwise. So we've got to go all the way around until we face the direction in which the, this thing is moving. So I need the angle over here. This is what we're looking for. Let me call that theta. Okay, so the bearing is theta. But to find theta, we need to find what this angle is here. 360 minus that will give us theta. Okay, so what we're looking at theta is equal to 360 minus, let's call this x. That's what we're looking for, theta. Or we could, if you want, find this angle here, this little angle here, and add it to 270. But I'm just going to do it this way. Now, I know that this angle x is the same as this angle here. This is also x because these are... This is due north as well. This is due north as well. So this is like alternate angles. They make like a Z shape. So I know that the tangent of, of X is equal to opposite, which is 6, over the adjacent, which is 2. So I can say X is equal to inverse tan of 6 over 2. So we want angles in degrees. So I'm going to make sure my calculator is in degree mode. It's in degree mode. So I have to say inverse tan. 6 divided by 2, which is... 3 anyway whoops and that will give me the angle 71.565 so x equals 71.565 degrees now we want the angle as a bearing i can just move this down and make some more space okay so the angle as a bearing so we can say therefore theta is equal to 360 minus 71.565 so theta is equal to 360 minus the answer, which is 288.434, 288.434. Now, they want the answer to the nearest degree. So, therefore, we can say the bearing is equal to 288 degrees. So, there's the answer to part A of this question. All right, so, I went in a bit more detail than maybe is necessary, but I just want to make sure that everyone understands the concept. So then it says part B, it says write down the position vector of P at time t seconds. That's basically, um, you know, writing down a general formula for the position vector. So we know that the general formula for the position vector of P of any point is equal to its um, position at time equals zero, R zero plus its velocity times time. So we know R zero is where it was at time equals zero, which we already know is 21.5. Always do that mistake. No, and there's no line there with the vector. It's not a fraction. 21.5. And we know that the velocity that it's moving at is negative um, 6 and 2. Okay, that's its velocity vector. So we can say the position vector of P at any time T is given by 21.5 plus the time multiplied by minus 6, 2. Okay, so that's fine. As I gave the question, everything in terms of I and J, I would... Maybe write this as I in terms of I and J. So I could put 21i plus 5j plus t times minus 6i plus 2j. Or alternatively, if you want to, you can even write this in kind of like a, a form where you write it in this way, where you could put, you could write, you can just like write it like this, for example, 21 um, minus 6t, that's the i component, plus um, you could write 5 plus 2t, and you can write that as a j component. So there's three different ways you can write it. All of them are correct. Perfectly fine. Okay. So um, one of these two probably be better to write your final answer because I gave the question in terms of i's and j's. Um, I like to write things in column vectors for my calculations. I just find it way easier to, to you know, it's more organized for me to write things in terms of i and j. 
Okay, then it says part C, it says find the time at which P is northwest of O. Okay, so I've got my position vector, which I'll, I've got as a column vector, which is how I like it. So I have 21, 5, 21, 5 plus T times, and I have a minus 6, 2. That is the position vector anytime to T. Okay, so northwest. So I'm going to make a little diagram. Okay, I'll make a little diagram, a little pair of axes. Okay, now let's say this is our, this is O. This is the origin O. Okay, northwest. So we know that this is north, this is um, east, this is south, this is west. So northwest is in this direction. Northwest means exactly between north and west. That's what it means. When it says northwest, it means exactly between them, such that this angle and this angle are both 45 degrees. That's what it means. So this thing is moving along like this. And there's going to be a time when, okay, it's, it's, it's moving along in this type of direction here. Okay, so I'll just do something like this. And there's going to be some point at which it reaches a point where it's exactly northwest of O. Exactly northwest of O. All right, so we, we got to find that position here. So when it's exactly northwest of O, what we can say is, the way I like to do this type of question, is I can say that because this is exactly 45 degrees, Okay, this is exactly 45 degrees. The vector from O to this point here. Okay, let's say the point X. The vector from O to X. Okay, that's where it reaches when it's northwest. Um, I've just called it that. Is equal to, you can say, minus K, minus something, plus something. So I'm going to call this minus K and this K. So it's going to be the vector minus K, K. So it's exactly uh, the same distance horizontally to the left of O as it is north of O. That's when it's going to be exactly northwest of O. All right, so that angle is 45 degrees. So the vector from O to X is going to be such that it's minus KK. So the position vector of P, when it is at X, at this point which we called X, okay, is going to be given by a vector such that the I component and the J components are exactly the same number, but the I component and they're, they're different signs. There'll be opposite signs. So if I can say 21, 5 plus t times minus 6, 2 equals minus k, k, then, and I solve that, okay, this like, I can, I can make two equations out of this, and I solve those equations simultaneously, I will have then found the value of t for which it's at this point k, uh, x, sorry. So now what I can do, I can make two equations, one from the i component, I can say 21, minus 6t equals negative k, and I can say 5 plus 2t equals k. All right, so if I add these two equations together, I so now we add these two lines together, we have 21 plus 5, which is 26, negative 6t plus 2t, which is negative 4t, and what we wanted, minus k plus k is 0, so we can say 26 is equal to 4t, so t, you divide both sides by 4, is 26 over 4. Um, so t is equal to, that's going to give you um, 13 over 2, which is 6.5. So we can say that the time at which p is northwest of O, you can say p, I should really go on the other page, but I'll just do this, is north west. Let me just do that. Sorry about my bad handwriting. P is northwest of O when T equals 6.5 seconds. It's in seconds, is it not? Yeah, T is in seconds. Okay, so there is the answer to part C of this question. All right, so now there are different ways that people use to find T here. Some people would say, you know, um, whenever you have basically uh, something in these two, like if it's northwest or you could say southeast, the, you know, the, you always have these two as different signs because here the x is negative, the y is positive here, the x is positive, the y is negative, so you can basically just equate these two uh, to each other uh, with opposite signs. Like you say 21 minus 6t equals negative 5 in brackets, plus 2t. So you see in the mark scheme, for example, it says 21 minus 6t equals minus, and we'll have 5 plus 2t, 
and then you would solve that for t and you know that's to give you exactly of course the same answer um you could if there is if it's northeast and southwest then they will both be the same sign so it'll be 21 minus 60 equals 5 plus 2k so it would be something like you know it would be northwest it would be somewhere over there all right when when they both have the same signs the i and the the, the two k's will both be the same okay so th that's um you know different ways of explaining it. i like to to think of it like in this way here either way is fine all right whatever you want to do this perfectly fine i just like to use this minus k and plus k to show that when it's at the point where it's exactly northwest the vector taking you from o to the point must be minus something plus the same thing i call that thing k that's all and then i can make my equations and solve so that con that concludes question um three part c and this question is a very very typical type of vectors question from m1 um other questions from this particular um, paper here can be found in the playlist the link will appear over here somewhere at the end of this video other questions from vectors of m1 the collection of different questions i've made will be found in the playlist appearing in this region over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the banner link which will appear in this region and you want to watch a video that takes you to or explains to you how to use my channel to find what you might need in different you know in efficient ways then you can watch the video that will appear this link will appear over here thank you for watching and see you soon